Hey guys, what is going on? It's Intel365 bringing you part 2 of my Blacklight Retribution Beginner's Guide. I nearly forgot what the name of the series was then, but it is Beginner's Guide. Um, so, last episode we were looking, we, I went through quite in detail uh, the actual customization of your characters. I've actually jumped onto my main character, uh, Intel365. So, I'm just going to show you my setup really quickly because I don't want to like another 15 minute video of me, you know, sort of going through everything you've had the introduction to the customization i just want to just for your interest really and this will help you out as well uh, just a bit of an intro to what actually what gear i use so obviously you know i'm not going to go through the helmet and stuff like that but they're my general stats for my armor um, and they're actually they are actually there if you want to have a look if you want to pause the video um health is 230 which is quite good quite good balance and not too slow either which is pretty good uh, one thing I will show you is the uh, heal injector. This, if if you get shot, um, say if you go down to 50 health out of that 200, and, uh, out of that 230, it will only recharge to 115 currently for me. Uh, only recharges half. Now that's a massive difference in this game. That that can be like winning a fight, a gunfight, and losing a gunfight. So, if I inject myself with a heal injector, then it'll bump me back up to full health, which is really, really good. So I saved up for that, and I did get that in the, uh, eventually. Rocking two grenades. Uh, my main thing about this game is, if in doubt, grenade out. Sounds um, ridiculously cheesy and crap. But that, that's one of my sort of sayings for this game. Um, so I, I uh, use two grenades because if you're not sure if, you, if, you, if you're challenging someone, if you're going to win the battle or not, then pop a grenade. You know, throw a grenade out there. Even if you just take a bit of their health down, then that's fine. You know, you, you've got more of an advantage to the, the gunfight. So you can make even a better a, a judgment on whether to go out and challenge them or whether or not, you know, maybe run back wait for a teammate or run back and camp somewhere or something um like i said if you pop a grenade out and it t it'll more than likely kill them but if it doesn't it takes armor off them then you've got a better chance again then in the in the gunfight so depot is all my stuff you know what i use i never really use i certainly don't use a hard suit uh, i hate them Weapons for smaller maps and um, when i'm not having to concentrate too much on my accuracy it's more about um you know it's not more about power again i've got quite a good balance but i'm not too heavy on the accuracy on this this weapon so record 3.66 which is quite good it's not bad um it's just enough you know for smaller to medium maps where it's quite good uh, you're not having to worry too much about accuracy and then as my second weapon this tidy little uh this little beast um which is just a heavy pistol just in case I run out of bullets and there's another guy there I can quickly whap that out and get the kill obviously pink camouflage because you know that, that's, a, that's a must for me <laughs> as soon as I saw it I was like yeah I'm having that um, one thing I will mention is I've actually got it for another 6 hours um, but I'm going to save up and buy this permanently it's toxic so if I po maybe pop 3 shots into someone I I can sort of come away and it'll eventually just kill them it'll drain the health off them so that's quite a useful thing if i need to reload if i get a few good shots but don't quite kill them i don't have to worry too much i can just walk away and they'll drop dead eventually um so that's a really really handy thing to have uh, also incendiary that's another sort of uh, health decaying uh, effect you can have and my second weapon are for longer maps which is a combat rifle, it's like, uh, you know, semi-automatic, you, you have to sort of tap your fingers as fast as you can sometimes, um, but it is high power, if you get a headshot, it's two hit kill, uh, headshot and then like a body shot, it's a two hit kill, um, really high damage, and then if you get two shots on them again, I've got the Toxic magazine, so it will just eventually, this Toxic magazine, but this gun really, really works well, it's a really, really good combo to have. Um, you know, I might hit two shots and then he didn't real. The, 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 my enemy realizes that he's actually being shot and he'll back away, and then the toxic will just eventually see him off. So that's really cool. So for longer maps, combat rifle, high power, accuracies. It's the recoil's hellishly bad, but you're only shooting one bullet at a time, so it's not too bad. And then smaller maps, my assault rifle, both in pink because that is a must for me. 
So guys, those were my setups. I've done this purposely. I obviously I want to keep the videos quite small. Um, so in this video, I've just shown you my setups and sort of the future unlocks that you can actually get. Um, just to help you guys out with your sort of setting up even more. Um, next game, next episode, I do promise some gameplay. There'll be sort of in-game tips. Um, so stick around for that, which will be tomorrow. I'll make sure it's uploaded tomorrow. So take care, guys. See you in the beard.